All right, outnumbered to overtime OT baby OT Steve baby. Hilton is joining us, as well as Emac hey. is here. It's good to have you as well. Uh, we just finished up the live version of our show Matt. talking about Steve Hilton's new show on the Fox News Channel. The Next Revolution. The Next great Revolution. Title. I love that. Great title. I feel that. I, I, yeah. I think when, um, when we first started talking about it and someone suggested that, I thought that feels so great. Love we didn't it. have any discussion. If that's it. That feels like what I want to be talking about. That is so exciting. We can't wait for that. So that will be debuting at some point in time. We don't have an exact date yet, correct? Yeah, um, soon, you know, next, not, not too far away. But Emac, you were joking near the end of the yeah. hour about our social media presence. And many of those are logging on to our outnumbered overtime because we have a very loyal following there as well. What is it that you saw on your social? Well, did I, they like the show? <laughs> yes, they did like the show. Um, I, they were pushing back on me saying that the GOP needs to, which is, is fine, absolutely. I think the viewers are extremely smart about that the GOP has to stand up and say we are for the poor. And one person tweeted saying the best thing for the poor is to get them a job. I totally agree That's with right. that. Mm -hmm. It's a great point. Um, I, I just think that, you know, the big bad, you know, uh, monopoly fat cat image of the GOP is wrong. And, you know, if he if they just say, of course, we're about the poor, we've been taking care of the poor. And, you know, we subsidize a lot of welfare for the poor and we're going to continue to do that. I mean, I, I'm I'm telling you, the tax system in this country, Karl Marx would drool over it. It's one of the most progressive in the world. I think you're right on the money with that, though. I mean, I've had this conversation many times before where Democrats just emote in a way to people yeah. that Republicans don't. I feel your pain. Yeah, they're better at political theater. They're better yeah. at political theater than we are. And I think the, the implication but so, of that. Uh, they are so obnoxiously wrong oh, yes. about the economic condition of this the country and the tax system. Just one quick point. When the dirty open secret in Washington, D.C., See, whenever Bernie Sanders goes on about tax cuts for the rich, rich by the way, he's a guy who owns three homes and he pays an effective rate lower than Donald Trump, uh, is that the, the upper bracket pays the most taxes. Yeah. The 80 percent of the tax revenue comes from the top 20. But I think that the other great point there is, is about jobs. And I think what I what I really I made the point in the show in, in the live show about how the, the kind of the process in Congress is sort of everything's getting bogged down and that and one of the consequences of that is that we're not seeing the tax reform that I think we need to start getting people the jobs and the income rises they need the corporate tax reform the 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 the, the lower rate to get the money back that all these companies have got stashed it's, overseas it's, right. the infrastructure right. the econ I think the in the end the reason that uh, that so many people thought you know we really need a change and we're going to put our faith in President Trump is to shake things up mm -hmm. yeah and and in the economy mm -hmm. that is needed desperately by a huge huge proportion of American I, families I, I, and I think that I'm, yeah. I'm just wondering when we're ever going to get to it listen I come from a f uh, old New York family Reagan Democrat Irish. was my mother yes <laughs> the <laughs> Good Irish, Irish family, like me. Irish Catholic, and you know JFK Democrats, and I'll tell you, in doing just journalism for 30 years, I am always astonished at stories like what happened with Rachel Maddow last night. I think the mainstream media has failed the American people. I think their focus has been wrong. They have been so standing in the same corner, talking to each other, yeah. uh, in the same amen corner, finger wagging the rest of the world, and they've missed the entire story about the poor losing jobs. Yeah. Yeah, and America, this is just the point. Right? It's like half of American families are earning less today than 17 years ago. That's but, the official data. And the thing is that the people that you know, you're talking about, their lives are great. They're, 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 in a bubble. they're wealthy. They're, yeah. the, the schools that their kids go to are great. Their neighborhoods are lovely. You know, their lives are fine. But, and so they can afford to indulge all this conspiracy mm -hmm. theory stuff while people need real help. They're struggling. That's, what's, That's right. what's bizarre to me, and I haven't watched MSNBC in a very long. I mean years easily. I don't I don't I don't like it. It, it makes me anxious. I yeah. don't find any of the personalities particularly compelling. And when watching it last night, the arrogance of all of the personalities that were yeah. going on screen when the last in 2008 and 2012 when Republicans lost I did so much self-reflection about where That's we right. needed to go, none of that. what went wrong, what we could do to reach out to a bigger audience. And Donald Trump, by the way, did everything I wanted mm -hmm. the Republican Party to do to right. expand to a larger base. He did it in a way that was more unorthodox than I would have anticipated, but he certainly but you know, did it. This, this, but just yeah. sitting there doubling down right. on, we've done nothing wrong. Our way of right. life, our perspective, this is what America needs. You You've something. been conned by the Russians. We only lost because of you know the Russians or Comey or whatever, nothing to do with anything 
think that the fact that we didn't have an, a message or an agenda or policies that would actually solve the problems that people it's are facing. A, it's this finger, yes. this finger waggy teachers faculty lounge kind of attitude where these Miss Jane Hathaways think that they should <laughs> go on camera and tell us and teach yes. us thing, I, and I, inform us. But the, the thing is, we just had somebody on saying we should go back to the Eisenhower tax rates of 60 percent, 70 percent, without saying that every other year in the 50s there was a recession and that JFK in, inherited a horrible recession. And one of the first things John F. Kennedy said was the best form of welfare is a job. All right. So said. let me get a few viewer comments in on, on Facebook Live right now. Oh, you can Loch also Ness send Monster. notes on OT uh, oh. over time as well. Facebook Live, let's see. Jean Gilmore Lundwall says, hello from Selden, Long Island, New York. I love your show. Excited for Steve and his new show. So thank you for that. Steve Adkins, great show as always. Thank you, Steve. Here's one. Jonathan Vital says, I think All About Numbers should go casual one day. Oh, I love that. <laughs> I love that. Love it. I would love that. Okay. I would. We're my All right. Era. And so if you can hear us on uh, uh, over time, which some people are saying they can hear, they can't see, jump onto Facebook Live. You can see us there. Um, so we're having a little bit of a technical problem on the OT. I'd love to go casual. On the website page, we're totally. being told. A um, lot of people talking about the MSNBC moment last yeah. night. Yeah. Um, I, I by the way, I, just, I know we talked about MSNBC, but I, let's not let CNN off the hook. I mean, ah. they are obsessed with Russia, too. They had a show the other night. You've got to give it, though, they wouldn't. I don't think they would have done this. Well, I, I, hyping it up for literally nothing. They criticized I, 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 yeah, I think, CNN. Did. And listen, I think CNN, it, I agree with you that they're obsessed with Trump in a way that I don't think is healthy at all. And they're totally trying to make a tempest out of a teapot when it comes to all things Russia related. Yes. But. MSNBC took it to a level that will be remembered, I think, journalistically and historically for I a long time. I think that's right. I think that it, it just, it will be one of those things that people talk about for years. I think that's mm -hmm. right. I, but I just on CNN, I, I, I was really upset by a show that they put out. Um, I think it was this week. I saw the trailer for it last week. I didn't see the show, but where it was about Putin. And, and they called the show the most powerful man in the world. And it was all based around the fact that, that you know, did he, <laughs> did he get Trump, Trump, President Trump elected, etc. They are literally doing Putin's job yeah. for him by bigging him up and, yes. and, and creating a show called uh, the Don't most they know that Russia's it's in a serious recession, that its economy is going down, its GDP is trending? I want to say, I, I, I toured a small European country, um, and so there's that lack of perspective. I understand that, ooh, Putin, you know, he stomps into Ukraine, goes into Crimea, seizes uh, and poisons, uh, seizes land and poisons people, but I, it's disputable whether he's the most powerful person. I agree um, with that. And, and I'm wondering, too, again, back to Rachel Maddow if, if Saturday Night Live is going to spoof they better, or satirize. That's an interesting they question. Better, you know, this weekend. They better make fun of her over the weekend or on Saturday. I will say one thing about that exhausts me about Russia and Putin is I, I that you can watch clips of me five years ago, eight years ago. I have cared about Putin and Russia for an extremely long time. The biggest disappointment and the, my most visceral reaction to President Obama when he ran in 2012 was him making fun of Mitt Romney for the 1980s foreign yes. policy. Great. To this day, I Great think it's one point. of the worst things he's ever done, he, hands down. Mm -hmm. So what's exhausting for me is if you actually care about the fact that Putin is funding bombing of hospitals in Aleppo, yeah. if you actually care about things going on foreign policy-wise, the left have taken this to, I will say, the Loch Ness Monster again. I still don't believe in it. I'm so sorry for everyone. But to a point where it's <laughs> yeah. so in the woods Breaking news. That, that valid criticism and arguments have completely gone That's out the no. Yeah, I mean, I was, if you want to look at, you know, who's been, you know, cozying up to Putin and actually enabling him to, it's not, it's, it's, it's Obama. Obama. You know, he's the one that did nothing Obama. when he walks into Crimea yeah, and I'll Ukraine. Have flexibility. He's the one that basically abandoned any leadership in, in, in Syria with the Syria situation listen. and said, okay, you deal with it. I mean, we're not but, fatally but, you know, naive. Listen, we're not fatally Bush naive. Yes, too, Putin though. is powerful. But, but Bush was just as bad. I mean, this yeah. is a long history. Listen, foreign policy hawks like me are pretty much the only, and I take this cred all day long because President Bush said, I looked into Putin's eyes and I saw a soul. And I, <laughs> And I, I, I remember saying, I see a KG and a B. Like, yeah. that's what I see when I look into Putin's eyes. And again, it's this long history of normalizing Putin. And right now, what we have done to it is, I just, I mean, yes. there's no real explanation. So well, let's take a I've, vote. Do you think Saturday Night Live spoofs or satirizes Rachel Maddow? Uh, uh, great no. question. Do um, what do you think? No. 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 I say no. no. I, I think they will not. Three no. no's. You say yes. I'll go with yes just to All be right. the devil's advocate. be different. <laughs> Um, very nice to have you back, sir. Yeah, thank you. And thank you for making the trek here. I know you have a lot going on. And I think we'll wrap it up yep, uh, great. with that. Thank you for joining us. We'll get OT Baby back up and running for tomorrow. All right, thanks for joining us. <laughs> thank you.